Mickey Cows is a really interesting blogger. He's actually one of the uh, oldest bloggers around. I don't mean in age, but in terms of longevity, he's one of the first bloggers uh, that ever came onto the scene on the internet. Uh, he's a conservative, so he was blogging at Daily Caller, which is run by Tucker Carlson. Uh, and he recently quit, and a little bit of uh, drama going on behind the conservative scenes. So what was this all about? Um, well, Mickey Cows wanted to write about immigration reform and also wanted to say, hey, Fox News, why are you covering immigration uh, more? Why is it always ISIS, ISIS, terrorism, etc.? So he wrote a column critical of Fox News. Okay, interesting. Like, for example, we might criticize and often do MSNBC because we're independent and we say, hey, look, they might be roughly progressive on some of the programs, but here's our disagreement. So it's so a good on Mickey Cows. Um, and he wrote that uh, there, meaning Fox News, filling up the airwaves with reports on ISIS and terrorism and not fulfilling their responsibility of being the opposition on amnesty and immigration. So now, understand, he's a conservative. He's pissed that they're not talking about amnesty more, right? So he's saying attack on those conservative issues. So Tucker Carlson then comes up to him and says, I'm going to have to take your column down. Quote, we can't trash Fox on the site. I work there. All right, well, that's pretty clear, okay? The ending of this is fascinating. So Mickey Kaus then explains, he said it was a rule uh, and he wouldn't be able to change that rule, so I told him I quit. I just don't see how you can put out a publication with that kind of giant no-go area. It's not like we're owned by Joe's Muffler Shop, so we just can't write about Joe's Muffler Shop, right? So he's saying, look, wait, Fox News doesn't own us. Uh, I don't have a contract with them. Are you telling me I can't criticize Fox News ever? Is that a little problematic? And he had put out in his article a timeline of all the stories that Megyn Kelly did uh, in a certain time period. And he was, his point was you almost don't see any immigration. All you see down the list is ISIS, 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 State of the Union, you know, Iran, Israel, a terror alert, ISIS, ISIS, terrorism, terrorism, right? Uh, and it seems like they're obsessed with that. Well, Mickey, I got news for you. They are obsessed with it because their main go-to move is fear. What they want to do is fear-mongering with their problem. Don't worry, they'll get around to fear-mongering on immigration and you'll be really happy about that, okay? But they think this works better. Oh, the beheadings, be super scared. Oh, it's the weird, creepy Muslims. They're coming. Maybe they're coming across the border. Anyway, oh, be afraid. It's playing on people's emotion. It's emotional porn. And, and they know that that works with their audience. That's why they're doing it. Mickey Kaus goes on to say, uh, I would suggest that the near exclusive obsession with Middle Eastern terror is difficult to justify by uh, the inherent news value of the subject, let alone its value to Fox viewers. Mickey, again, you're confusing policy and principles with what works in the ratings and what drives Fox's agenda. Uh, and then he said, you think the network would want to take a break if only for variety's sake. Uh, this isn't what actual coverage designed to alert and inform the opposition to Obama would look like. But that's not what they're trying to do. They're trying to scare the living bejesus out of people so that the 72-year-olds watching Bill O'Reilly's program get a little closer to the TV and go, oh my God, Sal, did you hear about the Muslims? They're coming. You've got to listen to this on Fox. So yes, CNN runs nonstop Malaysian airline uh, missing. Fox runs ISIS nonstop. It's, it's perfect for them. Um, so Tucker Carlson then sees this, right, and in the press, and you'd think that he'd want to fight back, right? Like, oh, wait a minute, this is outrageous, so that's not true. No, he puts out this statement. Mickey's a great guy and one of the few truly independent thinkers anywhere. I'm sorry to see him go. In other words, have at it, Hoss. <laughs> okay, no, no, you're right. I don't want you writing stuff about Fox because I get paid to buy Fox News. So you're independent, I'm not. So now if you read the Daily Caller, you know I'm Fox's bitch. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? What an admission. All right, well, it's a rare show of honesty, so I guess I like that. So this weekend, Mickey Kaus went on Reliable Sources on CNN, and, uh, and he had these two really interesting points to make. Watch this first. He can run a website uh, if he wants. He can run a website saying that Roger Ailes is the most handsome man in the world. Uh, but uh, at some point, uh, it stops being journalism. Now, I think a lot of people there do good work. But keep in mind, it's not a no-go zone. I was wrong when I said it's a no-go zone. Hmm. They write about Fox all the time. They just can't write nasty things about Fox. So it's a little deceptive for their readers. Do their readers know that there's this hard and fast rule that uh, they can't say anything nasty about Fox? I don't think so. I don't even think their reporters really know it. You know, I, I kind of like Mickey in some ways. I've met him a couple times. He's an interesting character. I like that at this age, he's still 
naive enough to think that they were doing journalism at the Daily Caller. <laughs> of course it's not journalism. It's just propaganda for the right wing of the Republican Party and for Fox News. You didn't know that, Mickey? You're amazing, dude. <laughs> All right, he's like, man, golly, gee, that doesn't look like journalism, does it? Of course it's not journalism. All right, here's another point. I mean, Fox is, is basically the, the, the only means or the main means, the dominant means of upward mobility for a whole bunch of pundits and writers and wannabe pundits. Even if you don't have a show on Fox like Tucker does, you want to have a show on Fox. If you're an author, if Fox promotes your book, your book's going to be a success. And the routes to success outside of TV, by saying being a middleist book author without any TV exposure, those have dried up. So TV hmm. is dominant and Fox is dominant on the right. Bingo! There you go. That's exactly right. Look, I, I worked in cable news for a little while, and you know, I worked in radio for a long time, worked in a lot of facets of the media. And everybody's very cognizant of where you get paid. You get paid, and oftentimes a lot of money, on television stations, the cable news outlets. So everybody knows where their bread is buttered. Why do you think they don't criticize Fox so much on some of the other cable news outlets? Now, CNN is doing a lot, especially on reliable sources. Some conservatives are not complaining about that, but they're right. They're pointing out the lack of journalism at Fox News, but for a long time they didn't. Well, the guy who used to be running reliable sources is Howard Kurtz. Now it's Brian Stelter. It used to be Howard Kurtz. Guess who Howard Kurtz works for now? You got it, Fox News. So that phenomenon is true on a grander scale, where a lot of people who work at the other cable news outlets think, one day I could be working at Fox News. So I don't want to tell people that Fox News is bad. One day they could be writing me a huge check. Or they already wrote my friends a huge check. Or I used to work for them and now I'm at CNN or I'm at MSNBC. That happens a ton. And for the people who haven't made it onto any of the cable news, they're dying to. Those are the big paydays. So they're like, what do you need me to say, Fox News? You're great, Fox News. You're the best, Fox News. So of course they're not going to attack Fox News, even if they know Fox News is wrong. Because it's all about the money, Lebowski. So those are the forces at play. And this little drama here has exposed those two factors that I think you all need to know when you watch an outlet like Fox News.